What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be giving my sonar, uh, my XX70 sonar a makeover. So as you can tell, um, I've had this guy for a while, but the leather is pretty beat up on this. So it's kind of crumbling and falling off. And I saw some tutorials on YouTube on how to reskin. So I'm going to attempt this myself. Um, I've got the leather here from Etsy. Um, I'll leave the the links to this uh, Etsy shop in in the description below, but I've got all the stuff I need. I've got goo gone, alcohol, a scraper. So yeah, let's give this beauty a makeover. I'm excited to uh, get her all nice and shiny and new. All right, let's do it. Okay, quick note before we get started. Um, I recommend wearing gloves when you do this. Um, the alcohol and the goo gone is kind of astringent and it definitely is safer. I just kind of went for it because I didn't have gloves, but I do recommend wearing gloves when you do this. All right, so the first step is gonna be removing the leather. And this process was easy. It came right up when I peeled off all four leather strips. And you can see here, I'm getting the top part. And this part of the pole right here is the metal part, and that is where the film ejects. So you're gonna wanna be extra careful not to bend that metal when you're removing the leather or removing any of the, the residue. I also want to say when you're removing the adhesive and the, the gunk and the glue, make sure you don't pour any of the whatever you're using, alcohol, glue gone, any other astringents, don't pour it directly on the camera. Pour it onto the napkin or paper towel that you're using and uh, soak it that way because you don't, want it getting, you don't want any of those chemicals getting into your Polaroid and affecting the film and the camera and stuff like that. This side's starting to look pretty good, and I move on to the, the other side here, and start removing the leather. So once the goo gone and alcohol uh, started to soak in, it was really easy to kind of scrape the, the adhesive and the glue off, and you'll see that that's what's happening here. And this part was pretty simple, it's just, you know, scraping up and getting all that gunk off. And again, I want to mention, be extra careful around this metal piece, only scrape up don't scrape down because you don't want to bend that metal piece. It's very, it's a very thin metal and you just don't want to mess that part up because that'll essentially ruin the camera. There she is, nice and clean. All right guys, so it is the next day. Um, 
You don't have to wait a whole day for it to be ready to be reskinned. I just didn't get around to finishing last night, but this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, there is some residue still on the SX70, but for the most part, everything's flat. So I feel like the, the new leather is gonna adhere just fine, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, let's go do it. I'm excited. Okay, for the most part, the re-leathering was pretty simple. You just have to make sure that everything aligns properly, and that was the only tricky part. But other than that, it went on pretty simple and easy, and it looks great. All right, guys, here she is. Just finished. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, the it feels very nice. Feels all all uh, brand new. The leather is, um, there's some spots where it seems to be over the edge or not aligned just right, but I could live with that. I think I did for my first one pretty good. Um, this is definitely gonna make me get out with this camera more now that she's all nice and pretty and done up. Um, yeah, 
that was my, I don't want to call this a how-to video because um, it was my first time, but I hope you guys learned something. I hope you, you know, get a chance to try this yourself. It isn't um, as intimidating as it seems. So yeah, I'm gonna load this guy up and go take some photos shortly. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.